this is my little diesel heater which I've had running in the garage now for a few weeks they're a great little tool really efficient and uh, really heat the heat the place up um, you get a lot of heat coming out the exhaust here you can't touch that and uh, I thought I'm going to do a little experiment to see if we can make use of the gases by passing them through a normal household radiator so yeah we went to the local builders merchants and got this little small radiator it was only 20 quid uh, to do a little test today to start it up you just press the uh, the middle button for a couple of seconds and then it's uh, you'll hear the motor get going I take about two or three minutes to start up it's the uh, the glow plug uh, Get, getting warm and then the uh, you'll hear the diesel pump start going and uh, and it'll start kicking some heat out there you go you hear a little change in tone there's a, a slight roar as it lights and if you can hear that that's the diesel pump just uh, starting to go and uh, yeah we're getting some heat out of it got it running off a little 12 volt supply there as the exhaust gas is going out the garage wall and that's starting to get warm and, and that's warm there. Wow, that's very, very hot, very hot. As it goes up, it's um, a little bit warmer, but not not too hot. And then the tops, the tops, pretty pretty hot as well. It's warm. You can still put your hand on it. It's only been going a few minutes. Um, I think thinking about it now some of the gases are just going straight through the, the radiator ideally you'd want them passing through the, the fins going the length of the radiator so, to, so one the inlet going in there and the exhaust coming out there or a, dif a, a different way around to uh, so you're not getting the straight through flow That is, that's that's making use of the heat. That would that would have just been going straight out the uh, out the wall. Okay, so we're outside here now. It's quite a bit of condensation coming out of the exhaust pipe. You didn't get that before when it, the fumes wasn't passed through the radiator. So that's interesting. There's no smell to it. And there's absolutely no smell in here there's no leaks we've got no leaks and I was expecting a couple of little leaks on this but um, that's not bad I've only got it on number two it actually does go up to number six so that's only on like a, a third well, that's really mid midway up now that's that's getting pretty warm I think it's actually heating it up faster than the, the, the central heating heats the radiators up in the house and all of this heat here it's free heat it's an absolute total bonus oh that's really hot it just would have been going out the at the wall well, this is this is your main heat here, which is like I said, it's only on number two. Such a lot of heat coming out of there. Well, 
Well, I think that's a successful little experiment. Uh, nothing's blown up, nothing's melted. Um, and we're, we're making use out of exhaust waste gases. Win-win. This is my other uh, diesel heater, which I've got um, pumping hot air into the house. There's a there's a hole in the in the wall there where where uh, it pumps hot air into the house. Uh, just have a look at that on my other videos if you're interested. It's still ticking away nicely. That's hot all the way through now. All of that is hot. The tops. The top's very hot. The, bo the bottom is, you can't touch that. That's, that's very hot. But the whole radiator's, it's, com it's completely hot. You've still got condensation coming out of uh, at the exhaust pipe. I don't know why that would be. If, if anyone knows, please comment. So basically it has worked, but um, please give me your tips and comments. I love to learn from you guys and let me know what you think. Uh, thanks very much for watching my video, I really appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe.